Hello and welcome to my first Vegas Pro 10 tutorial for beginners. This video is for beginners who are new to the program Sony Vegas and if you are new to or actually if you used Pro 8 and 9 and 10 in the past you don't need to watch this video because uh, Pro 11 unfortunately hasn't changed much on the interface in comparison to the, its previous program. So let's head on into Vegas and uh, let's learn about the basics of video editing in Sony Vegas. So first off, how to import your video. Now there's two basic ways you can import your video. One is going to this little folder right here, clicking it, searching your video, and importing it that way. Or there's a different way, and you can search up your file on your finder, and you can use a simple drag and drop method. Now one thing to notice is that uh, when you drag a video clip or an audio clip into Vegas, it creates this .sfk file. And what that does is that it allows Sony Vegas to um, play back the audio more efficiently and more conveniently so it doesn't lag with the audio and stuff. But if you delete it, uh, don't worry, Vegas will uh, recreate them again. So you go back to Sony Vegas, open it up again, and voila! the SFK files there. Now, uh, first things first, uh, if you import your video clip into Sony Vegas, you're going to have a video track and an audio track. Now the audio track has little sound waves, uh, visible sound waves, and later on you can use that to synchronize your video to your music. Now importing, or actually not importing, uh, cutting your video. So. Anywhere on your video that you want to cut, select S. That will separate your video. Now, to separate the audio from the video clip, just click on the video clip and press U. <coughs> and that will separate the video from the audio. And now, to fade in your video clip, go to the beginning or at the end and hover your icon at the top left corner if you're uh, fading out at the beginning of the video until you see this little icon click and drag to the right and you see they'll slowly fade out now Sony Vegas gives you several options on how to fade it out so if you go to the end of the fade hover your cursor over it this little icon should appear right click on it and it will give you five options, five different fade options to choose from. I'm going to choose this one. And there you go. Now on to transitions. In order to use transitions, you uh, have to cut your video. Because if you go to your transitions and select one and try and drag it onto your video, obviously nothing's gonna happen so what you need to do is you can use the same video clip or you can have two different video clips I'm just gonna show you an example with just one video clip uh, cut it and then in order to apply the transition both video clips have to be touching each other and when they're uh, right connected to each other this little eye, not icon but it'll create this little triangle at the top of the video clips now once you have that done, just basically drag any of the uh, transitions you want and make sure you drag it right onto the cut you just made or right where it's connected and that will create uh, the transition There you go. Now uh, you can also apply the transitions to the fade uh, offset. So instead of just cutting out your video, you can either go to the uh, beginning of the video, fade it, and then apply the transitions to the uh, fade offset. So preview it. And there you go. Now for video effects. So video effects, unlike transitions, you don't have to cut any footage or do anything like that because uh, 
uh, it's not transitioning from one video clip to another. You're applying it so that it affects the video clip as a whole. So go to your video clip, go to your video effects tab. And in case if you don't have the transition tab or the video effects tab, uh, you can always go to view and make sure that video effects is checked. It'll bring back the video effects tab. And basically you can apply any effect like the invert color or any kind of color correction to that. Uh, to edit the video effects after you exit out of the window, you can click on this little icon right here, this little green icon, click it, and your effects that you just applied to your video clip will pop up and you can change around with the settings and all those kind of stuff. Now to remove the effect, uh, you can click this one with the uh, effect selected, click on this one, remove select plugin, that will remove the uh, plugin from your video. Now, after you know all the basic editing, uh, now I'm gonna get rid of all the unnecessary stuff on the interface, such as the video trimmer, because a majority of your editing is gonna be happening on the timeline and not here. So you can get rid of that, and that's basically what your interface is gonna look like uh, later on. So on to having text in your video. Click on your video track. Or if you don't have a video track, you can right click on your timeline and create a new video track. And on your video track, with your video track selected, go to insert and select text media. That will bring up your text media options. And you can type in whatever you want. Blah, 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 blah. And over here you can choose your font. And a new feature in Sony Vegas Pro 11 is that you are able to scale down your text right on the previous screen instead of scaling it down um, from the options. So that's a cool new feature. Now, there's another kind of transition is crossfading your video. So when you crossfade it, it kind of mixes in the second video clip. So all you need to do is enable automatic crossfade. If you don't have it enabled then your videos will mix with each other. So make sure you enable that so that it mixes in with each other. Now for the audio. If for some reason you only want to have one audio track but there's certain uh, video clips that have uh, music that's too loud and certain uh, certain video clips that have you know, pretty low level audio uh, audio levels what you can do is uh, bring down the volume for each individual video clip. So if you go to your video clips, or one of them, hover your cursor towards the top of the audio clip of your video, and this little icon should appear. Click and drag it down. That will bring down the decibels so you preview it. So that's a way to bring down individual levels of audio. And so after you have all your video edited, uh, what you need to do is, you don't have to do this, this is just a safe way to ensure that you have your video exported. So uh, hover your cursor over the top of the timeline until this little icon appears. So look and drag it to left or right. And make sure whatever you want to be exported is within the uh, boundaries of this little yellow corners. Now when you're rendering your video, basically means you're exporting it so that you can share it with your friends or upload it to YouTube. Now uh, Sony Vegas Pro 11 now allows you to upload to YouTube after it's finished rendering. So when you click upload to YouTube after your video is finished rendering, Sony Vegas Pro 11 will now automatically connect to the internet and upload the video for you. But this time we're not going to use it. I'll show you how to do it later. And go to File, Render As. Now, in case you're wondering, why can't you just save it? 
because if you save it, you're only saving the project file. So if you you can't upload this file right here because this file is only used for uh, if you want to edit your video at some time later, uh, you can save your work so that you can work on it later. Now back to rendering. So uh, do this little boundary thing and click to render as. And uh, for those of you who use Pro 8, 9, and 10 in the past, uh, Sony Vegas offers the same file formats and some new ones. They just put it in a different format. Now, the best file format for exporting your video is WMV, Windows Media Video V11. Uh, click it and click on this little arrow to bring down the options. Now, one of the reasons why WMV is most compatible format with Vegas, in my opinion, is that uh, since Sony Vegas is a Windows based program, you don't need any codecs to uh, render WMV out. And plus, the uh, Windows Media Video file has a high compression compression uh, rate, which means that it has a low file size. So that's why I like to use it. And if you're doing HD select, one of the HD presets, and you can customize it to your liking. So for the audio quality, maybe you want to change it to 128 kilobits per second. That allows it to kind of render faster. And for your video, 1280 by 720 bit rate, you don't need to worry about that at the moment. So click OK, click render. Now for those of you who are wondering, you know, this tutorial was a general video, didn't show any specific stuff. I'm going to be covering the specific stuff and tools and features of Vegas Pro 11 uh, in my other tutorials, which will be uploaded, you know, in the following weeks. So if you could please subscribe to my channel and comment on this video and share this video with your friends, that would help me out a lot. And if you have any other requests or any kind of questions about Vegas Pro 11, you can comment on this video asking me in the comments or you can send me a message. I'll try and re reply to them within one to two days. And uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial. If this helped you, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.